Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the first two weeks in April, April 1st to the 15th, okay? Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This could happen at any time. Um, I did an April reading already. I will tack it to the end of this. This is my Oracle deck. If you would like to purchase it, the link will be in the description box below. So what do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's take those, why don't we? Speeding causes accidents. Now this card, surface, you know, the, the surface value of it, you would think that it has to do with a vehicle, right? You'd think that it has to do with speeding on the road. Speeding in any circumstance in your life causing an act causes an accident whether you are in a vehicle or you are rushing into a relationship or you are trying to do something too fast whatever it may be if you're cutting things up and you're not and you're moving too fast you know you could cut yourself speeding causes accidents slow down you could be running you could be running you know maybe you're running around in the house you're not you're trying to get too much done at one time you could trip. Slow down. Maybe you're on the road. You've got some place to go. You're in a hurry. You could get in an accident. Speeding causes accidents. Slow down. Woo! Phoenix rising from the ashes. Could be dealing with a Libra. May not be. I just did the Libra reading. Libra got this as well. This is a renewal. It is a rebirth. This is rising from the ashes. So, you know, this is after something ends and, it, and it's a painful ending. So I'm not sure if you're going to be experiencing a painful ending. could happen suddenly. Um, but this is rising above it. Messenger. You're going to be receiving a message. Children are a factor. Wow. Yay. Children are a factor. I don't know if somebody is going to get in an accident. I don't know. And like I said, I just explained this at the beginning. There are all different kinds of accidents. There's a message to be had, and the message is slow down. Children are a factor. Hmm. Make, you know, make some, it might have something to do with one of your children. You may be receiving a message about one of your children, and I don't like to hear that at all. At the right place, at the right time. This is a rebirth, okay? It is a rebirth, the, the phoenix. At the right place, at the right time. So, you know, whatever is meant to be is meant to be. That's, there's no such thing as coincidence. Ooh, it's reversed opportunity is in the palm of your hand so this is a loss of some sort damn damn so there is some sort of loss okay that's like that's basically the ace of pentacles okay it's a lost opportunity it's a missed opportunity it's unplanned something is unplanned mm. could be a job i'm not sure unplanned Something isn't practical. It's not. It's not solid. It's not stable. There's there's some sort of instability here. Hmm. Opportunities in the palm are you slipping away? Something is slipping away. 
Oh, money down the drain. Look at that. Money going right down the drain. You know, you need to be careful. Be careful. You know, sometimes when you use speed, you cause accidents. could cost you some money. This could be money, a loss of money, okay? A loss of money. But at the right place, at the right time. I'm not sure if you're dealing with a Scorpio because when I see Phoenix rising, I always think of Scorpio. There be, you could be dishing out some money for one of your children. Just saying. There's money going to be going down the drain. And sometimes people make impulsive decisions and they spend their money and it's not wise. So take your time. Think about the decisions that you are making. Don't be wasting your money. It feels like there could be some children that are going to be costing you some money. Nothing new. Anyhow, um, let's, let's see what we got here. Look deeper. Something is hidden. Something is hidden. What's hidden? An opportunity. You're missing an opportunity. You're missing an opportunity for something. You, you're going to be at a place, and because you're moving so fast, you're going to miss an opportunity. There's not going to be an opportunity in front of you. You're going to be at this place. I'm not sure what this place is, and there's going to be an opportunity. It's like you're throwing an opportunity away that could make you money. Maybe it has something to do with children. I don't know. Mm hmm. You could lose something because you're moving too fast. It's time to move on. It's time to move on from something. Maybe you need to let something go that is costing you money. Maybe it has to do with a job. You have to let something go that is costing you money. Some of you may have adult children that are costing you money. There could be some hidden addictions here. is going on. It's time to move on from something. You've got to let something go. You do with that Ace of Pentacles reversed. There's the, What is this messenger card? For me, when I, when I made that card, I was thinking about Facebook Messenger. You may receive some news via Facebook Messenger. You might want to check Facebook Messenger or, you know, somebody may communicate, be communicating with somebody on Messenger. And there's all kinds of messengers. There's, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't use the other apps, but I, I don't know if there's a Snapchat messenger or, you know, you could be dealing with somebody that is hiding something on Messenger, whatever this messenger is. So you may want to investigate Messenger. All right. Investigate. There's something here that isn't stable, that isn't solid, that's unrealistic, and there's probably going to be an unplanned loss of some sort. Something, somebody is hiding something, and this is a reality check, but it's reversed. They're hiding something, and it's and it's interesting because I wasn't going to show you this card, but I'm going to now because uh, the outside looks grand, but the inside is the is a mess. Somebody is doing something behind the scenes. Okay, and they're hiding it. You need to investigate. Now, this is my past position. So you may have rushed into something. You know, you may have rushed into something. And it may have seemed like it was right. But it's not.
You could be dealing with somebody that is just after your money or after or, or, or is financially strapped or something like that. I feel like you right now need to probably maybe you need to listen to your gut messenger can be yourself you need to listen to yourself you may need to move on from somebody that is financially unstable or they're not it's not practical it's not realistic they're hiding something from you you may have rushed i feel like you've rushed into something Maybe there was a lot of passion or desires, you know, because you see that now all we see is the fire. Fire is passion. You may have, you know, got yourself in tr attracted to something and rushed into something. And now you need to look deeper. You need to look deeper. This is not practical. It's not realistic. You may need to let something go that is not practical. You know, I do see rushing, but it is in my past position. I feel like you, ne you may need to protect your children. Because this is the future. You need, to, you need to protect your children. Be careful. Be really, really careful. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is not telling you the truth. Okay? Some, they're hiding something. I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio or a fire sign. Either I feel like you're dealing with a Scorpio or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person may have came at a time when you were in a dark place, you know, when you were alone, you know, and they helped you to rise and they made you feel really good and you rushed into it. I think that you really need to be practical here. I think that you probably need to, um, obviously it's time to move on from something that isn't practical. It's not stable. It's not solid. It's not real. There may have been a lot of passion or desire or attraction to it, but I, I just feel like, I feel like it was an impulsive decision to get involved with somebody. This is, children are a factor. Consider your children. Are your children, is this a good situation for your children? Or the children? What do we have for Virgo? Check messenger. Whatever that message is. Check messenger. There's something going on here. Eight of cups right over. It's time to move on. Well, that is say goodbye. You need to say goodbye to something. I mean, that is, it's time to move on. That's, that's, this is emotionally disappointing situation. This is a, you know, an alteration that is needed. You do need to leave something behind. It's costing you. It is. It's cost, costing you. Something is costing you. It could cost your children as well. Um, never take your children for granted. Four, uh, and it is about money. It is something? Some? This is a four of pentacles. This is about money. Somebody is is holding on to something that you know just for the money, just for the financial stability of it. Uh, Holding on, hold on, hold on to your your stability. You know, this is like be frivolous. You know, you need to be frivolous. You need to hold on. Don't waste your money this in these next two weeks either. There's a lot of messages in these cards. You may just need to say no to something. Somebody may try to sell you something. Okay, this could be this could have to do about money. You could have a child that wants you to buy something. Just say no. Okay, or something could be, you could have this desire, you know, something looks very attractive to you and you want it, just say no, save your money. And I do believe that you have somebody around you that, I don't know, is wasting money. There's definitely money going down the drain here, right in the garbage disposal being being wasted somebody in his in the messages to hold on to your money <clears throat> 
star card. Could also be dealing with an Aquarius. Now this is a card of wish fulfillment, hopes, and renewal. Headed towards wish fulfillment. You are headed towards wish fulfillment. You are headed towards stability. You are headed towards uh, Well, it's wish fulfillment. It is wish fulfillment. This is healing energy. But this is this right here is about holding on. Hold on to what you have. Maybe you guys have something really good that you need to hold on to. But this is it's time to move on from emotional disappointment. It's time to move on from a loss. Maybe it's a previous loss. Maybe it's your own insecurities. I feel like whoever you are dealing with may see you as a dream come true. They may see you as uh, everything that they wished for. You may be thinking about leaving. Maybe you're thinking about leaving be, or you're thinking about not engaging with them because of children. Maybe you don't want the children, you know, or children are a factor, you know, or you're worried about how they're going to be with your children. Something about children here. Whoever you are dealing with is probably... I feel like this person is stable. You are dealing with somebody that is stable, that is solid, that is secure. They probably waste money though. <laughs> you know, this is holding on to money, but this is money going down the drain. So it's interesting. Maybe they spend a lot of money on their children. Maybe you don't like it. Maybe you spend a lot of money on the children. They don't like it. There could be, you know, fighting or arguing over money here. Or worried about somebody telling them how to handle their children financially. I think there's there there could be issues with the with the money and the children or something like that. But whoever you are dealing with does uh, see you as their wish fulfillment. They see you as their dream come true. They want to hold on to you. They maybe maybe you feel like you don't have enough to offer. Maybe you feel like you don't have enough money or something like that. There's there's money um concerns here. Okay? It's like, oh, you know, I don't have enough or they don't have enough. I, I feel like there's a uh, a big money difference. Okay, there's a difference in who makes, uh, you know, it's not on equal ground, put it that way. Um, but whoever you're dealing with does see you as a dream come true. And I feel like you're, you're, you need to let go of your own insecurities. That's what I think this is. I think you need to let go of your insecurities. I think that, you know, you just need to go slow. Go slow. You don't need to rush into anything. I think that uh, you probably have something good here, but there's there's uh, I don't know. I think that you're not being practical. I think that you're not being realistic. You you may be thinking about moving on. I think that you may be emotionally discontent and I think you're being emotionally discontent or disappointed or something because I don't know I feel like you're not thinking clearly I think that you've hit rock bottom in the past I think that you've risen to a higher point you know a higher vibration but I also feel like you're fearful I feel like you're fearful of um, not being valued, you know, f fearful of not getting taken care of or fearful of something to do with your children. 
you know, it feels like I, there's child, children are definitely a factor here. You may be trying to protect your children. You know, you may be fearful of getting involved with somebody to protect your children. You're definitely, somebody is thinking about moving on. It does say it's time to move on. I feel like you, there is protection here. There's protection because a star card is a card of protection. I feel like you are being guided. You know, maybe you're being guided to follow your gut. I think that whoever you are dealing with does see you as a dream come true. They may see you as a dream come true because of your financial stability. Maybe they see you as somebody that can take care of their children. There's definitely something hidden. I think that this in the next two weeks you need to explore messenger, whatever messenger is. I think that you need to slow down. I think that you need to take your time. I think that, you know, when you get that Phoenix card rising from the ashes, I feel like you um, you have risen. You, you have, you've already learned from some mistakes. You may have rushed into something in the past, and you have learned from that, and you have risen from that. But I still see fear. I see fear. And I, and, and I almost, I almost want to say naive even though you have experienced something in the past that was profound it's like I don't want to see it I don't want to believe it but deep down you know deep down you know that there's something going on behind the scenes there is so anyway Virgo I feel like I feel like in the next two weeks you you know you're gonna be moving on from something and I and I think it's it's going to be extremely difficult and I think it does have to do with your children. Maybe it's about protecting your children because this is protection, this is children, this is protection as well. This is something going down the drain. Whether it's money or not, something is going down the drain. I think it's time to move on from an unstable situation that at one time looked like it was a big, bright opportunity. It feels like something could come across a screen and you could see it at the right time. Okay, so pay attention. Maybe it's on Messenger and this changes everything. So pay attention. Um... In the past, you've overlooked things. Do not overlook things. Be practical. Be realistic. You could be dealing with somebody that is extremely stubborn, very, very focused on money, focused on their children. Maybe that's why... It's either money or their foundation or their job. They're more focused on their children. And that could be a reason why it's time for you to move on. So, you know, if they don't make you a priority. On the bottom of the deck, we have a death card, which is an ending and a new beginning. So this is a major life change that is coming. So you are going to be experiencing a major life change. This is like a death too. It's 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 rising after a death. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with somebody, you know. Um, well, there is somebody here. That there's going to be an ending of some sort. There is, and then there's going to be rising from the ashes. So we have an ending that leads to a renewal. This is a, being like a no, no. The answer is no. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. I'm not helping you. 
you may need to let somebody hit rock bottom. Maybe it's one of your children. Anyhow, in the next two weeks, I believe that you are going to receive a message or you are going to see a message that changes everything. Okay, this changes everything. You have to protect yourself. You have to protect your children. However that resonates with you. There is something going on below the surface that you have not seen yet. And I do believe that you are about to see it. This is a blessing in disguise after the tower falls. So there is going to be a tower moment. may have something to do with, you know, children. <sighs> Good luck.